Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, I went through the uh, PayPal Sandbox account menu. So, in this video, uh, we will look into the REST APIs of the Postman. And then in later videos, we will consume these REST APIs in our application. Okay. So, when you logged in into your uh, Sandbox account, uh, here is the option, the APIs and SDKs click on rest apis so here is the complete details of the rest apis that how what are the different uh, endpoints available how you can create and capture the uh, you know payments how you can create subscriptions how you can create and get the values of different transaction details what are the web hooks and uh, what are the different webhook events uh, available for uh, you know uh, for the PayPal and many more things and also uh, details of the old APIs uh, which are the version 1 uh, so currently PayPal is using uh, version 2 APIs but they have also uh, you know old APIs uh, that are still spotted but they recommend to use the latest one okay so uh, when you come on to the rest apis uh, you can also fork the collection of the postman that paypal provided so you can play with the different endpoints so in order to uh, fork the collection uh, you just need to click on the rest apis and run in postman so you must have account on the postman it's free you can go and create a postman account so run in the postman and for collection so if you see currently i don't have any collection on my local environment and it will take my so uh fork the collection in the my workspace for collection and that's it so if I go to the my local you can see that these are all the rest APIs available so you can play with it so if I go to the authentication and say generate access token so if I send it will fail because I have not set any you know uh, okay okay it, it's automatically uh, you set all the uh, keys for me uh, because I fork with using my you know uh, my account but I will show in the next video how you can set the client ID and client secret in the postman and uh, I will also show how you can create products plan and subscription because uh, the other API's are pretty much uh, simple and straightforward but mostly people uh, feel difficulty to play with you know the subscriptions based thing how we will set up the uh, recurring payment things in our application using the PayPal so I will select the subscriptions uh, things the others are very straightforward uh, you can add the capture payments and things that they are very straightforward okay I will see you in the next video thanks bye